in seventh grade is surprising. It's kind of hard because we have to make sure we do just about everything right because we have to get a very good score so we can go to the high school that we want to. And I want to go to one of the top high schools. We had to take a testing class called the Already, and I was really happy because I got the highest in my class. I'm still excited about the care program. My excitement never leaves me. Every day I wake up and I'm like, I'm part of a care program. Like I breathe in and I'll say, wow, scholarship program. I'm like, wow, that's really amazing. The inaugural class of a scholarship program. Like, wow, like I'm paving the way for people to come. I'm really competitive. I hold myself to a higher standard and I try my best to maintain my good grades. Um, I say I'm very competitive for good grades because I don't know, my dad always taught me to be, to try your best to be number one. I'm, I'm really, really curious. I'm always trying to find something out. I'm always asking a question. Wait, what's A3? I'm just super curious. The big wheels go in the back. And I love to read. And that's, that's my main strength. I love to read and I have a very good memory, so those go hand in hand. I'll read something and then I'll remember it forever. I sit at the front of the class and like my hand is always going up, my hand is always going up, my hand is always going up. And they're like, and he's always calling on me. And he's like, and every, but nobody else has raised their hand and they'll be like, I'll just look around and nobody else raised their hand. I'll just, I'm like, yeah, I got it, Dr. Burns. I got it, I got it, I got it. I think I can overcome those things. Like not having a lot of money, being influenced by the wrong people because I know I'll always have my mentors and care program and everybody for support. My dad, he's just about my height. So do for yourself and keep going on, okay? Yes, sir. You gotta give it to you all. We get along well, we, we both real easy to talk to. He funny like me. Winning is not the only thing, it's everything. I don't know, he's just a bigger me. Life, so you gotta give everything you got. We laugh at the same time, like we see something that's funny, I show it to him, and he just start laughing. You know, he's my youngest son, okay? And as my youngest son, you know, he was the one that always wanted attention, okay? The teachers love him, the principal love him, because he shows he's willing to complete what he's starting in life. My mother's first five kids have the same father, and my baby brother and my two little sisters have a different father. No one ever believes Jackie is nothing less than amazing. He's always had an amazing beauty to himself. He has these amazing dimples and the eye. People are always kind of like drawn to Shaq here. So I guess because of that, he's, um, and him being so smart too, he's developed a certain charisma about his, himself. I want Shaq here to accomplish everything that he feels that he wants to I don't ever want to have Shaq here or any other of my children have a career or a path or a goal that is just all about them. It's always, to me, going to be about how can I use my, you know, abilities to help other people. You get there by making an effort. If you don't make an effort, it's on you, okay? We can do so much for our children right there, but it's up to him to carry it on the rest of the way, yeah? That light at the end of the tunnel. Now, it takes a while to get there, but you'll get there eventually. And so to give up is not gonna benefit you. Cause to give up is, is like, to give up is failure in life. I'm, I don't base my life upon failure. No matter what opposition I get in life, I know that there's an opportunity where it's gonna get better. And my religion is really important to me. I like that. Because I, I like that. grew up with this religion. I was born into it. So something about it, like when I pray, I just like feel like warm inside. Like it feel good to me to pray. Like and that. I guess like when I finish praying, like some days I get like really, really like energetic. And then when I pray, like it just calms me down. It's just the way it is. When things don't do good, like my religion is still there for me. So uh, that's the thing, yeah. It just helped me look at stuff better. I wish to let him know as always, I love him I dearly. Like I love him too, my twin. He's twin. I do count my blessings, he's in my life, okay? 
I do count my blessings right there, you know. And it makes you feel good that you're part of his history, you know. I, he's doing things that, like, wow, did, did I instill that in him? It makes me feel good to know that, wow, he thinks of his daddy. Okay? It makes me feel good, like, wow, he's doing things that make me proud of him. Okay? And that's a beautiful feeling. That's a very beautiful feeling, no matter what. The wish for my son to accomplish what he can do in life, to please his Lord first and foremost, because that's what's important in life, and to do what's right by people. I love you. You love me? I love you too. That's a good thing to know right there.